how can running slow the aging of your brain? It does this in two ways. Aerobic exercise slows the age-related shrinkage of your hippocampus, which is a brain structure that's critical for forming new memories. It also increases brain and blood levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. This is a protein that's released from neurons in contracting muscle during exercise that stimulates neuron growth and communication. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today I'm going to talk about how you can potentially slow the aging of your brain by running regularly. So how does the structure of your brain change as you get older? Overall, the volume of your brain tissue decreases. Your brain tissue consists of gray and white matter. The darker cell bodies of neurons make up gray matter, while white matter is made up of the myelinated axons of these neurons. The fatty myelin material that insulates axons makes this brain area appear white. Some areas of your brain, including your prefrontal cortex and hippocampus, lose gray matter faster than other brain regions. In long-term studies, the hippocampus shrinks between 1% to 2% every year in adults older than 55 without dementia. In patients with Alzheimer's dementia, the hippocampus shrinks even faster at a rate of 3 to 5% every year. Hippocampal shrinkage is thought to cause the characteristic memory loss seen in Alzheimer's dementia. Although your cognitive ability is not determined solely by the size of your brain, it may be different for the hippocampus and the surrounding entorhinal cortex. Studies have shown that aging individuals with a smaller hippocampus also have poor cognitive ability. But there is something that you can do to slow this process. If you start a regular aerobic exercise program, whether it's walking or running, even in mid to late life, Research has shown that you can slow the loss of brain tissue in your hippocampus. For example, a recent meta-analysis showed a significant increase in the volume of the left hippocampus in subjects who exercised compared to those who did not. Aerobic exercise also helps slow brain aging by increasing levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, in your peripheral blood and also in the brain, particularly in the hippocampus. So this is another way that aerobic exercise can counteract that aging of the brain since the amount of BDNF in your body drops as you get older. Why is BDNF so important? It's a neurotrophic factor that is released in small amounts by neurons in response to exercise. BDNF can be found in the synapse, in the presynapse, or in the postsynapse. As a neurotrophic factor, it activates signaling pathways inside neurons that strengthen synaptic connections, stimulate the growth of neuronal fibers, and activate dendritic growth and branching. BDNF is also released into your bloodstream by contracting muscles during exercise. As it's a small protein, it's able to cross the blood-brain barrier so it can travel to and from your brain. It's actually thought that about 75% of brain-derived neurotrophic factor in your body is produced by the brain. So Peripheral blood levels in humans are still a pretty good surrogate measure of the level of BDNF in your brain. Very low levels of BDNF are found in the brain at rest, and most of it is actually produced in response to stimulation such as exercise. Studies of exercising humans have found increased levels of BDNF in the serum and plasma. In mice, increased levels of BDNF have been found in the brain after exercise. 
it's just a little bit harder to access brain tissue in humans to show the same result. BDNF has been found to enhance long-term potentiation, which is pretty much the molecular equivalent of learning in the brain. Essentially, when you learn something, there's increased stimulation of a synaptic connect contact, which ultimately leads to a stronger signal through that synapse. The release of BDNF is often activity dependent, meaning that it's only released from neurons when they're stimulated, as occurs during aerobic exercise, for example. Several studies have shown that long-term potentiation itself also increases the activity-dependent release of BDNF in the brain, leading to a positive feedback loop. Don't pass up the opportunity to slow the inevitable shrinkage of your hippocampus with age. Take advantage of the activity-dependent release of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, that comes with aerobic exercise. Thanks for listening. I hope that this was helpful for you.